Today I'm going to talk to you about how you can control your portions and there's three ways starting with the most complex way and then ending with a super simple method that's going to help you stay fit, eat what you like, but stay within your caloric budget. So let me ask you this, are you looking to manage your portion sizes and maintain a healthy eating routine? Well today I've got those three tips for you. Now before I go on guys, give the video a like, make sure that you've hit subscribe. Starting with number one, and this is the best method I would recommend for you to make sure that you're eating within your caloric budget, is to obviously track your food using a food tracker. My Fitness Pal is 100% free. We utilize it in our belly burn. The difference between you doing it on your own and working with us belly burn coaches is that we're gonna provide you with the macros and the calories that you're required based on the goal that you're working on at that time. But you can also use My Fitness Pal's automatic feature to help you based on the goal that you set within MyFitnessPal. So keeping a record of what you eat can definitely provide you with valuable insights into your eating habits, making sure that you're balanced out between your carbs, your fats, your protein, your fiber, and also your calories. So number one is to track your food using a food tracker. Number two is using your hand to measure. When you don't have a scale or measuring cups handy, your hand can be a useful tool. So for example, a serving of protein can be roughly the size of your palm. Protein. While a serving of grains or carbohydrates can fit into the cup of your hand. The amounts of fats that you should be eating within your food should be the size of your thumb. Now what you can do is experiment with using your hand as a guide to estimate your portion sizes and then get on a scale once a week and monitor your progress. Number three, it's a super simple eating method and you don't need to do any sorts of tracking is that you need to eat some, so eat a small plate, whatever you want on there, wait 15 minutes, drink water, and then decide if you need another serving. Now sometimes it's easy to overeat without even realizing it, so to avoid this, try this simple trick. After your initial serving, give yourself a 15 minute break, chug a glass of water, and then allow your body time to register the food that you've consumed, and then you can determine whether or not you're still hungry or whether or not you're satisfied which will prevent you from going for seconds. But if you're still hungry at that point, go ahead and enjoy those seconds. So there we have it guys, three methods for you to keep your calories in your budget. We wanna get that food tracker as number one. If we don't have that food tracker and scale handy, then number two is use your hand to monitor your portion sizes. And number three is just eat some, wait, drink, and then decide if you wanna get that second serving. We'll see you on the next video.